we are going to make a price list, a single drop down price list. So you can choose things out of your price list here, update the quantity, the prices will update, the total price will update, subtotal, total. So here you go, look, if we have flowers, that's £10, that all changes. Let's start from the beginning then. So if we go a new spreadsheet from template gallery, if we go down to invoice, this gives us a nice starter. Here you go. Um, we're going to create a price list. So we'll rename this price list. I'm going to copy and paste some prices I made earlier. Here we have some prices. I'm going to remove flowers for now. Um, and then in here, we're going to replace these descriptions with drop downs. So if I highlight everywhere, I want my drop downs. So I'm going to go to data, data validation, add a rule. I'm going to add a drop down from a range. So if we click down from a range, we can then click on here and then select the range that we want to be in our drop down. I'm going to select the whole of column A, which means I can add new items later and I don't have to update the validation. If we go back to the invoice, we can see here that now has our items. These are called chips. So these like circled grayed out boxes are called chips. If you go to advanced options, you can change from a chip to like an old school arrow, which I think is a bit more relevant for an invoice. So that's all working. Another thing to change is probably show a warning rather than reject the input, just in case you want to put something in an invoice that isn't necessarily in your price list for whatever reason. Although it is best to add it into your price list, of course. Okay, that's done. Um, what we want to do now is we want to update the prices. So for this, we're going to use a VLOOKUP. So we're going to look up how much honey is within our price list. Select both columns, and that means you can add more later. And we want the second column across. And if you put in false, that means um, you'll be getting the exact value rather than the first closest match. Um, so we are looking up honey, where is it? which is in C B nineteen in our price list. If we drag that down, we have like an ugly error here. So what we can do is we can add an the front if error then just give me do empty speech bubbles for the bank. There you go. And now hopefully if we hide that it's a thousand pounds, these are ten, money's a hundred. Um you can change these to pounds if if you like my prices is in pounds. Um that's it, that is your price list that will update in here. I wanted to show you that if you add in flowers or say 500 pounds, um, type in 500, don't put the pound sign in the front, otherwise it thinks it's a value. Um, then we should be able to just add in flowers at $500 or pounds, whatever your currency is. So this is great if you just want to do a quick quote, you don't want to save the information anywhere, or you can like print it off, but um, it's not being saved in the database anywhere. Fantastic. But next time, what we're going to do is double drop downs. So you can have honey, but different sizes of honey jars, different types of bees, and all of the information is stored somewhere in this spreadsheet. So that if you want to find kind of invoices, um, this information is all available behind in the database somewhere. 
So that is much better for automation. And if you've got much more complicated price lists with many more items. So that's in how to create an automated double drop down price list. Next. Thank you. Bye.